Hi there, my name is Birdie. I make crochet stuff. I do lots of random things, blah, 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 blah. You're here for a crochet tutorial. And don't mind the mess back there, blah, blah, blah. I live in a trailer that's 27 feet long and there's gonna be stuff everywhere all of the time. But I am making a crochet tutorial for the chainless single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet foundation row. This is a great replacement if you're just chaining and then working a single crochet, a half double crochet, or a deep DC all the way across to your first chain. It's also great for straps if you're going to do the single crochet foundation row. Amazing for straps. I love using it for that rather than chaining up like a hundred or two hundred or whatever. So thank you so much for being here. I did get requested to make this so hopefully you guys love this and let me know if there's anything I need to change up in the comments. So I would love to get better at this but thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the tutorial. What I have to get started is going to be my yarn. I just have some worsted weight green red heart super saver yarn and then I have a five millimeter crochet hook. Now if you know me I don't normally use five millimeter cro crochet hooks for worsted weight. I normally only go up to a four millimeter but for this tutorial it's going to be a lot easier to see with a five millimeter so we're going with that. All right so to get started we have our yarn and we're going to make a slip knot. And to do that, all we're going to do is go over twice. So we have two loops over our finger and we make a little bit of an X. And you go underneath that X, go through that top portion and grab the yarn. And then you can turn and tighten. And then I normally take my hook out and put it back in the opposite way. That way my tail is nice. And down below and then to start the chainless double crochet foundation row what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and then i'll bring you guys even closer and now that we have you even closer you can see there are, are two chains and you're going to yarn over for the double crochet turn it i usually work into that back bump right there that little back bump but you can work into this front row as well but I always like working into the back bump because it leaves a really nice bottom. And we're going to pull up a loop from that. That way we have three loops on our hook. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. Now, for this very first one, I would recommend grabbing that chain one so you know exactly where it is. And after you chain one, all you do is finish that double crochet. So go through two loops, go through two loops. And you're going to yarn over again. And for our next one, you can see where those two loops are right here. You're going to go underneath the first one and the second one, and that is the chain that you made in the first stitch. And then you're just going to pull through and pull up a loop. And you can see right there, you made almost three Vs. So there's a V right there that you went through, and then there's one on the top that you went through. And then again, you're just going to chain one and finish that double crochet. And we're going to keep going. And you do this for as long as the pattern calls for or for as long as you'd like. So this is our 10 double crochet with a chainless foundation chain or cha chainless foundation row. And it is still stretchy. It's got a really nice stretch to it. I think it's a little bit better than when you do a chain and it gets really tight on the bottom. And you can see on both sides, we have nice rows of V's. So it's super uniform and it looks very nice. And then I'm gonna cut this yarn and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a half double crochet. So we're going to start out the same way with a slip knot just like this. I'm going to show you another way of doing a slip knot. Another way to do the slip knot is to make one loop around your finger. So we have our one loop here and then make a second loop. And you're just going to pull that second loop through the first loop. And then tighten. And that is another way of doing the slip knot. And then again, we're going to chain two. So we have our two chains again. And we're going to, again, for the half double crochet, yarn over, go through that back bump or the front loop if you'd like, and pull up three loops. So now we have three loops on our hook. And to do this one, we're going to, again, chain one, if you want to grab that chain one so you know where it's at, and then finish the half double crochet by pulling through all three. So it's super simple, again, Go through those two loops in the back, 
that you just made with that chain, make another chain, and just like that. And see, this is where it gets a little harder to see. So let me get a little bit closer. So you can see those two loops right there, we're going to be going underneath this one. So we're going to be going underneath those two loops. So there's the first one, and there's the second one. And then we pull through one to make that chain, and then we pull through all three. And there we go. So again, let me make 10 for you guys. We yarn over, we go through the chain that we just made, and we chain one, and we finish. This stitch can be a little bit tighter in general, so do be careful with that. The half double crochet is a bit of a tighter stitch. Split the yarn a little bit at the end there, but there is our 10 half double crochet. And now let's do the single crochet foundation row. So finally for our single crochet, we're going to start out our, with our slip knot again, and then our chain two. So once we get our chain two, we're going to act like we're doing a single crochet into the first chain from the hook, for the, the second chain from the hook. So we go into that back loop, we pull up a loop, and we have two in our hook. So exactly like the other ones, we're just going to chain one, grab that chain if you'd like, and pull through the last two. And there we go. So we're going to try again, go through those back two, make sure we don't split the yarn, and pull up a loop, chain one, pull through the two. Get some more yarn out. And that is our two single crochets. So like with the other two, I will do 10, three, four, five, and there is 10. So again, it's stretchy and is a great way to start out a project. The single crochet foundation row is great for making straps. So if you're making a tank top or a crop top and you need to make straps, rather than chaining up a hundred or however many, you can do this instead. That way you have a stronger stretchy strap to your garment. Thank you so much for watching. I really had fun making my first ever tutorial with for you guys. Don't mind all of the mess or whatever. Living in a trailer, you got a lot of stuff everywhere that just kind of floats around. So thank you so much for watching. It's my first ever tutorial, so I'm taking lots of pointers and everything. If you want a much slower, maybe even closer up video, I would love to do that. Just let me know in the comments. But again, thank you so much for being here, and I will let you all go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.